Good morning, good Yantif, and good Shabbos. Welcome to our service. Glad you can be with us even if it's only virtually. Again, let me tell you that you have your High Holiday booklet with you, and there'll be certain pages, I'll announce the page numbers in your booklet, where I will be asking you to pray along with us and make this a little bit more interactive. We are going to begin in the prayer book on page 110 with the singing of Ma Tovu. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, supreme power of the universe. You sanctify our lives with mitzvot and give us the sacred obligation of learning and living Torah. O God eternal, let us taste the sweetness of your Torah's words and let them give pleasure to your people, the house of Israel, so that we, our children, and all generations of Israel to come shall know your name and study your Torah for its own sake. Baruch atadunai, ha-melamed Torah la'amo Yisrael, 
Blessed are you, Adonai, who instructs your people Israel in the ways of Torah. Page 120. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Merech HaOlam, Asher Yatsar Et HaAdam Bechokma, Uvaravo Nekavim Nekavim Chalulim Chalulim. Galoe Vyadu Alif Nechisech Votecha, Sheim Yipatech Achad Mehem, O Isa Tem Achad Mehem, I Efshar Lehit Kayem Velaamod Lefanecha, Baruch Ata Adonai, we praise you, Holy One, for wondrous acts of creation and healing. Let us turn now to page 138. Page 138. Ha'el v'ta'atzumot u'zecha, ha'gadol v'kvod shemecha, ha'gibor l'netzach v'nora v'gvorotecha, ha'melech ha'yoshev al'kisei ram v'nisa, majestic God, today enthroned beyond time and space, shokein ad marom v'kadosh shemo, v'chatuv rana nut tzadikim b'lodnai, nisharim eva tehila, eternally present, your name is hallowed on high, and the psalmist sang, Rejoice in Adonai, you righteous. Let the upright adorn you with praise. By the mouths of the upright you are raised up, and in the words of the righteous you are blessed. On the tongues of the pious you are sanctified, in the midst of the holy you are praised. Your people by the thousands sing to glorify your name. In all generations, we give voice to your sovereignty. Yishtabak shem chala ad malkenu, O sovereign God, source of holiness and greatness. May your name be praised forever in this world and beyond. Eternal one, God of our mothers and fathers, your strength, sanctify, glory, and dominion are deserving of song, praise, poetry, hymn, sacred chant, and blessing of thankfulness for all time and eternity. Baruch Ata Adonai, El Merak Adobetish Bachot, El Hahodot, Adon Hanifoot, Habocher Beshire Zimra, Melech El Chei Haolamim. Blessed are you, Adonai, sovereign of praise, source of the impulse to give thanks, crown of wonders, who desires a world filled with song and a universe of life. We continue with the Chatzy Kaddish. Please rise. It Who's the cat? Who's the 
Eternal, the Blessed One, blessed is the Eternal, the Blessed One, now and forever. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Yotzer Oru Vorechoshech, O Se Shalom Uvorei Et Hako. Source of blessing, our eternal God, your power fills the universe, shaping life, creating darkness, making peace, and fashioning all things. Infinite life is preserved in life's treasure. Lights from the darkness, said God, it was so. In love you bring light to the earth and its creatures. Your goodness renews the creation each day. Infinite, varied, and rich are your works, divine artist, all of them wrought with wisdom. The whole earth is teeming with life. Awestruck by the universe, work of your hands. Let all life bless you, praise you, and celebrate the beauty of your lights. Or chadash al tzion ta'ir, v'nizkechu lano mehegala oro, baruch atarunai yotzer hameorot. We're on page 146. Love abundant, love unstinting, our God, you have enfolded us in love, tender compassion beyond all bounds, your precious gift. Our fathers and mothers gave you their trust, and you gave them Torah, laws by which to live. For their sake, teach us as well, Grace us with your guidance. Loving Father, merciful one to all of us, grant us clear understanding that we may listen, learn, and teach, preserve, practice, and fulfill with love every lesson of your Torah. May learning your Torah light up our eyes. May our hearts embrace your mitzvot, unite us in love and reverence for you, that we may never feel ashamed of our deeds. Bring us in peace from the four corners of the earth. Lead us with upright pride to the land that is ours. For you are a God of miracles and wonders. From all the peoples of the earth you sought us out and brought us near to your great enduring truth. So with love we acknowledge and proclaim that you were one. Baruch Ata Adonai HaBocher Bamo Yisrael Bahava. You have singled out your people, Israel, with love. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Israel, Adonai is our God, Adonai is one. Blessed is God's glorious majesty forever and ever. Please be seated. Ayom 
162. From Egypt you redeemed us, Adonai, our God, and from the slave house you set us free. For this the people who felt your love exalted you, and the ones whom you found precious sang hymns of praise, blessing, and thanks to the living God who reigns forever, high and exalted, inspiring wonder who humbles the proud and raises the lowly, who frees the captives, redeems the oppressed, and sustains the poor. God responds to the cry of our people, their prayer in time of need. Sing to praise to God most high, most blessed source of blessing, as Moses, Miriam, and all Israel sang this joyous song to you. Sixty-six. Please rise for the tefillah.
page 174, please be seated. And so, let these words of sanctity ascend to you, for you are our God and Sovereign. proclaim the power of this day, a day whose holiness awakens deepest awe and inspires highest praise for your dominion. For your throne is a throne of love, your reign is a reign of truth. In truth, you are judge and plaintiff, counselor and witness. You inscribe and seal, you record and recount, you remember all that we have forgotten, and when you open the book of memories, it speaks for itself, for every human hand leaves its mark, an imprint like none other. <laughs> It 
Page 176, and for those of you who have your high holiday booklets with you, please turn to page 8, and I'll give you a moment to do that, and then let us pray together. And so a great shofar will cry to Kiah, a still small voice will be heard, angels in a whirl of fear and trembling will say, Behold, the day of judgment, for they too are judged in your eyes, even though they are not blameless. All who come into the world pass before you, like a sheep before their shepherd, as a shepherd considers the flock when it passes beneath the staff. You count and consider every life, you set bounds, you decide destiny, you inscribe judgments. In your high holiday booklets on page 9, page 178 in the prayer book, let us pray together. On Rosh Hashanah, this is written. On the fast of Yom Kippur, this is sealed. 
How many will pass away from this world? How many will be born into it? Who will live and who will die? Who will reach the ripeness of age and who will be taken before their time? Who by fire and who by water? Who by war and who by beast? Who by famine and who by drought? Who by earthquake and who by plague? Who by strangling and who by stoning? Who will rest and who will wander? Who will be tranquil and who will be troubled? Who will be calm and who tormented? Who will live in poverty and who in prosperity? Who will be humbled and who exalted? Through a turn to the right path, through prayer and righteous giving, we can transcend the harshness of the decree. You are everything that we praise you for, slow to anger, quick to forgive. You do not wish the death of sinners, but urge them to return from their ways and live. Until the day of death you wait for them, you accept them at once if they return. Since you created us, you know our impulses. We are but flesh and blood. We are about to open the ark for the Kedusha, page 184. Please rise. <laughs>
On page 186, And so in your holiness, give all creation the gift of all. Turn our fear to reverence. Let us be witnesses of wonder, perceiving all nature as a prayer come alive. We bow to the sovereignty of your strength, the primacy of your power, we yearn for connection with all that lives, doing your will with wholeness of heart, all inspiring in your creation, all encompassing your transcendent name. And on page 188, and so in your holiness, you give your people the gift of honor, bless with praise those who praise you, bless with hope those who seek you, Give your believers a basis for faith to happiness for the land of Israel, to joy in Jerusalem. May the sparks of David, your servant, soon grow bright enough for us to see a beam of light in the darkness, a promise of perfection. We are going to turn now to page 190. And so, in your holiness, give the righteous the gift of a vision bright with joy, a world where evil has no voice, and the rule of malevolence fades like wisps of smoke. Good people everywhere will celebrate, and the stunning sight of arrogance gone from the face of the earth. In the middle of page 192, you are holy, your name is all. There is nothing divine beyond you. As the prophet Isaiah taught, the source of all might is exalted through justice, the God of holiness made holy through righteousness. Baruch Ata Adonai HaMelech HaKadosh. Atavech Artanu Mikol HaAmim Ahafta Otanu Varvatsita Banu Varoma mantano mi kol hal shonot, ve kidash tano ba mitzvot teha, ve kerav tano malkeno la vore teha, ve shem ha hagadol ve hagadosh alenu karata. In your love eternal, our God, you have given us this Sabbath and this day of remembrance, a day for the shofar's joyful sound, a day of sacred assembly, a day be mindful of our peoples going out from Egypt. Our God and God of generations before you, may a memory of us ascend and come before you. May it be heard and seen by you, winning your favor and reaching your awareness, together with the memory of our ancestors, the memory of your sacred city, Jerusalem, the memory of your people, the family of Israel. May we be remembered for safety, well-being and favor, for love and compassion, for life and for peace, on this day of remembrance. Zohrenu Adonai Eloheinu Bola Tova, Ufoknenu Boli Vracha, Vahoshienu Vo Lechayim. On page 198. Eloheinu Velohe Avotenu Vimotenu, Moloch Al Kol Haolam Kurobi Fodacha. God who is ours and God of our fathers and mothers, in your glory reign over the infinite expanse of space and time. In your grandeur be exalted, through your power show us your reality. Then all who dwell on earth shall understand that you are their maker. Astound us with the beauty of your presence, so that every breath of life shall say, eternal is the God of Israel, all embracing God's rule and sovereignty. Let us turn to page 202, and we rise for the Alenu Gadol.
Atam Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kiddushanu B'mitzvot Sov V'tzivanu Lishmoa Kol Shofar Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shehechiyanu V'kiyamanu V'higiyanu Lazman Hazeh Tekiya Shavarim Teruwa Tekiya Tekiya Shavarim Teruwa Tekiya Tekiya Shavarim Teruwa Tekiya Tekiya Shavarim Tekiya Tekiya Shavarim Tekiya Tekiya Shavarim Tekiya Tekiya Teruwa Tekiya Tekiya Teruwa Tekiya Tekiya Teruwa Tekiya Gedola Please be seated and let us continue on page 208, Kaching. Page 214, our God, divine presence whose path our ancestors walked, 
Bless us now with words first bestowed on Israel in the time of Moses and Aaron, the threefold blessing given us through Torah that joins our hopes with theirs. Yevarechacha.
Take a moment or two for some private silent prayer. Please turn now to pages 10 and 11 in your High Holiday booklets. That's 224 and 225 in the prayer book itself. In a moment, we're going to rise and open the ark, and we are going to pray these two prayers together, these two pages together, beginning in English, beginning each section with the Hebrew words of Vinu Malkenu. When we have finished doing that, then we will sing the Avinu Malkenu. So please rise and let us open the ark. You go to the other side, please. And I will lead us in the English reading 
Avinu Malkenu at the beginning of each sentence. Avinu Malkenu, we stand in awe, we draw close in love. Avinu Malkenu, the power that passes through us and pervades all things. Avinu Malkenu, the divine that is present within and among us. Avinu Malkenu, we speak the sacred truth aloud. Avinu Malkenu, we stand as one, accountable for our sins. Avinu Malkenu, we yearn for true compassion for our children most of all. Avinu Malkenu, may we resist the ravages of illness, fear, and despair. Avinu Malkenu, let us summon courage to withstand our enemies. Avinu Malkenu, let the goodness of this gift of life be engraved upon our hearts. Avinu Malkenu, may we taste anew the sweetness of each day. Avinu Malkenu, let us wake up to the blessings already in our grasp. Avinu Malkenu, however small our deeds, let us see their power to heal. May we save lives through compassion, generosity, and justice. Avinu Malkenu. Avinu Malkenu.
continue with the reading of the Torah as we take the Torah scroll out of the ark. Please be seated. Our reading is from the 22nd chapter of the book of Genesis, known as the Akedah, the binding of Isaac. I'm going to give the quickest introduction, an explanation that I think teaches us a lot. If we were to say God asked Abraham to bind up his son Isaac and offer him as a sacrifice, 
and then God tells Abraham not to do it. We are not giving a literal reading of the text. The subject of the verb at the beginning is Elohim, a generic word for God. The subject of the verb telling Abraham not to do it, Malach Adonai, the messenger, some people say angel, but angel comes from the Greek word which comes from messenger anyway, not to do it. Are we talking about two gods? Some would want to do that, but a better approach is this. Abraham's understanding of God at first was that he was supposed to sacrifice his son. Abraham's understanding of God as he, Abraham, matured and developed and had a more sophisticated knowledge of God was that he wasn't supposed to do it. And part of that sophistication was to understand a different name of God. Baruchu et Adonai hamvorach Baruch Adonai Hamvorach Leolam Ved, Baruch Adonai Hamvorach Leolam Ved, Baruch Adonai Rohenu Merach Aulam, Asher Bachar Banami Kol Hamim Venatan Lano Et Torato, Baruch Ata Adonai Noten Hatora. Amen. Vihi Achar Hadvarim Haela, Vaha Elohim Nisa Et Avraham, Vayomer Elav Avraham, Vayomer Hineni. Vayomer kachna et bincha et yachidcha asher ahavta et yitzach. Vilech lecha el eretz hamoria vaha alehu sham ula al echad he arim asher omar elecha. Vayashkem avraham baboker vayachavosh et chamaro vikach et shneine arav ito va et yitzach bano vivaka et se ola Vayakom vayelech el hamakom asher amarlo ha Elohim. Vayom hashlishi, visa Avraham et enav, vayar et hamakom merahok. Vayomer Avraham el ne arav, shvulachem po im hachamor, va ane va ana ar nelcha ad ko, venishtachave venashuva alechem. Vikach Avraham et at se haola. Vayasam al Yitzach Bano, Vikak Vayado et Aesh, Veta Machelet, Vail Hushnehem Yachdav. Vayomer Yitzach el Avraham Avi, Vayomer Avi, Vayomer Hineni Bani, Vayomer Hineha Aesh, Vahaitzim, Vaaye Hasel Ola, Vayomer Avraham Elohim Yere, Lo Hasel Ola Bani, Vail Hushnehem Yachdav. Vayavu el hamakom asher amar lo ha Elohim, vayiven sham Avraham et hamis beach, vaya aroch et ha etzim, vya kod et itzak bano, vayasem oto al hamis beach, mema al la etzim. Vishlach Avraham et yado, vikach et maachelet, lishkot et bano. Vikra elav malak adonai. Min Hashemaim. Vayomer Avraham, Avraham, Vayomer Hineni. Vayomer Altishlach Yadcha Al Hanar, Vaalta Aslo Meuma. Ki Ata Yedati, Ki Yere Elohim Ata, Valohasakta et Bincha et Yahid Kamimeni. Visa Avraham et Enav, Vayar Vihine Ayal Akar, Ne Echazbas Fak, Vekarnav. Vayelech Avraham Vikak et Ayal. Vaya alehu le ola takat beno. Vikra Avraham shem hamakom hahu adonayere, asher ye amar hayom bahar adonayere. Vikra malach adonai el Avraham shenit min hashemayim. Vayomer, bini spati ne um adonai ki yan asher asita et hadavar haze. Valoha sakta et bincha et yichidecha. Ki varecha varecha chavacharbe arbe et zaracha. Ki kokave ha shamayim. Uha chol asher al sfat hayam. Viyirash zaracha et sha'ar oivav. Vihit barhu bezaracha kol goye haaretz. Echa vasher shamate bakoli. Viyasam avraham al neurav. Viyakum of yachu yakdav el bershava. Viyeshev avraham. 
Bever Shava. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam asher natan lanu toret emet v'chaye olam natah betochenu Baruch atah Adonai noten ha-Torah. Please rise as we raise the Torah scroll and dress it. Please be seated for a moment. Please turn to page 245. We offer a special prayer for those who aren't doing very well at this time. We pray for those who are ill. We pray especially for those who are suffering from the coronavirus. We pray for all members of our congregation and our families who aren't doing well at this time. May the one who brought blessings to our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, bring the blessing of health to those who are ill. And let us continue with the Misha Berach. we pray for those who are ill, so we offer a prayer of thanksgiving for those who are doing better. In your High Holiday Booklets on page 12, let us pray together a teaching of our sages in the presence of the Sacred Scroll. We give thanks for the blessing in our lives. Rav Judah said in the name of Rav, who shall offer thanksgiving? Those who have completed an arduous voyage, those who have recovered from an illness or injury or surgery, and prisoners who have been set free. In the midst of the congregation, we honor those who have come through times of challenge, difficulty, or danger. Today, we celebrate their survival. Today, we give thanks for the resilience of body, for the strength of human spirit, for the precious gift of life, experience with new intensity when life has been at risk. Blessed are you, our God eternal. Your majesty fills the universe. Through your generosity, we have experienced your goodness. May the source of goodness bring you goodness at all times, and let us all say, Amen. Amen. We offer a prayer for this congregation. We offer a prayer for this country. May it work together for the goal of the health of all and the safety of all. May God protect and preserve us and teach us to follow the right and proper paths to make ourselves healthier and safer and wiser. Good morning and good Yantif, everyone. 
we're going through strange and anxious times. But then again, people and civilizations do go through strange and anxious times. While we find ourselves in a time when the news is all about death, in the time in which our haftarah is set, people were less concerned with death and more concerned with the perpetuation of life, of human fertility. Hannah, the wife of Elkanah, agonizes over her inability to conceive. Worse yet, Elkanah's other wife is joyously fertile, and she never allows an opportunity to pass when she can lord it over Hannah or remind her that Elkanah, remind Elkanah that it is she who will continue his bloodline. Our narrative takes place on this family's pilgrimage to the shrine in Shiloh, where Eli the priest and his two sons offer the holiday sacrifices. While Hannah is there, she prays silently, fervently, moving her lips that she might please have a child. The priest, Eli, observes her and mistakes her for a drunk, and he chides her and castigates her for her behavior. Passionately, Hannah defends herself. She explains that she's praying for a child. Eli then realizes this and blesses her. The family returns home, and when they return years later, Hannah brings her son, Samuel, whom she swore she would dedicate to God's service. May we, like Hannah, pass through this period of sorrow and sickness and rejoice over the joys of life and the God who has infused us with the gifts of fertility and resilience and laughter. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Asher bachar bin vim tovim Ratzav divrehem anemarim vemet Baruch atah Adonai Habocher batora uv Moshe avdo uv Yisrael amo uv in vieha emet vatzedek. Vayehi ish echad min haramatayim sofim mehar Ephraim ushmo elkana. Ben Yerucham, Ben Elihu, Ben Tohu, Ben Suf, Ephrati. Velo shte nashim, shem achat chana, v'shem hashenit penina. Vayhi lifnina yeladim, ulechana ein yeladim. Vala ha'ish ha'hu me'iro miyamim yamima, lehishtach avot v'lizboach l'adonai tzvaot b'shilo. Visham Visham Shnei Vinei Eli Hofni Ufinchas Koanim Ladonai. Vaihi Hayom Vaizbach El Kana Vinatan Lifnina Ishto Ulchol Baneha Uvino Teha Manot Ulchana Yiten Manachat Apaim Ki Et Chana Ahev Vadonai Sagar Rahma. Vechisa ta tsarara gam kaas pa'avur hadim'a ki sagar adonai ba'ad rachma. Vechen yase shana v'shana medei alota v'vet adonai kein techa sena vativke v'lo tocha v'yomer la elkana isha. Chana, lame tivki, the lame lo tochli, the lame ye ra levavech, halo anochi tov lach, me asara banim. Vatakam chana, achare ochla, the shilo, achare shato, 
the Eli Hakohen Yoshev Al Hakise Al Mezuzat Adonai. The He Marat Nafesh, La Tit Palel Al Adonai Uva Ho Tivke, La Tidor Neder, La Tomar Adonai Tsva Ot Imra O Tir E Boani Amatecha Uzachar Tani Velo Tishkach Et Amatecha. Venatati la amatacha zera anashim unatativ aladonai kol yemei chayav. Umora lo yale al rosho. Vahaya ki hirbital hit palel lifne adonai. The eli shomer et piha. The chana he medaberet al liba. Rak sefateha naot. The Kola Lo Yishamea, the Yashaveha Eli Lishkora Lishkora, the Yomer Eleha Ali Admatai Teshakarin Hasiri et Enech Me Alayek, the Ta'an Chana the Tomer Lo Adoni Ishak Shat Ruach Anochi, the Yayan the Lo Shatiti. Va ish poch et nafshi lifne adonai. Al titain et amatacha lifne bat balia al. Ki me rov si chi vcha si debarti. Ad hena. Va yaan eli va yomer lechil shalom. Ve lo he Israel yitain et shelatech. Asher shalta me. me me imo. Vatomer timsa shivchatacha hain beinecha vatelech haisha ledarka vatochal ufaneha lo hayu lo hayu la od. Vayashkimu vaboker vayishtachavu lifne adonai vayashuvu vayavo el beitam. Haramata vayeda elkana et chana ishto vayiz kareha adonai vayehi lit kufot hayamim vatahar chana vateled ben vatikra et shmo shmuel ki me adonai shaltiv vayal haish elkana Bechol beito lizboach ladonai et zevach hayamim ve et nidro bechana lo alata ki amra le isha ad yigamel hanaar bahavioti benir e et pene adonai viashav sham ad olam vayomer la elkana isha asi hato beinech. Shvi ad gamlech oto, ach yakim adonai et divro. Vateshev haisha vatenek et bena ad gamala oto. Vatalehu ima kasher gmalti befarim shlosha veefa achat kemach venevo yayan. Vativ ehu, vativ beit Adonai shilo, vahanaar naar, vshachatu et hapar, vayaviu et hanaar el eli. Vatomer bi Adonai he nafshecha Adoni, ani haisha hanetzevet imcha ba baze, lihit palel el Adonai, el hanaar haze hit palalti. Vayiten Adonai li et she'elati asher sha'alti me imo. Vagam anochi hish'iltihu l'adonai kol hayamim asher haya hu sha'ul l'adonai vayishtachu sham l'adonai. We continue with the closing blessings, and if you'd like to join me, please feel free to do so.
Baruch atadonai Eloheinu melech haolam Tzur kol haamim Shatzadik v'chol hadaro Ha'el ha'neman homer oseh Ha'mdaberun kayem shekol dvarav Emet v'atzedek Al ha'torav yal ha'avodah V'yal hanvim v'yal yom Hazikaron haze shenatatalanu Adonai Elohenu likdusha v'limcha l'sason ul simcha l'chavod ul tifaret al hakol Adonai Elohenu anachnu modim lach um varachim otach yitparech shimcha b'fikol chay tamid le'olam v'ed. Baruch atah Adonai, Mekadesh Yisrael, v'hazmanim. We are now going to turn to page 276, and uh, we rise as we return the Torah scroll to the ark. All praise for God's name, for God's name alone is truly sublime. Last night I spoke about Dever, Cherev, Viraav, pestilence, war, and famine. This morning I'm going to focus on famine. I'm going to talk about food, and it's more appropriate to talk about food on Rosh Hashanah than on Yom Kippur. Most, if not all of us, have been really lucky. And no matter how rough a time we've had it, we haven't had to go without food, or if we have, for not too long. There's the kind 
of famine, where the crops don't grow, where the food shipments don't come in, and things are really dreadful. And there's the kind of famine that's created by other human beings and their manipulation of societies and economies that cause people to die of starvation. All we need to do is give an example, and my own interest in European history is what Stalin did in Ukraine. Starve the people out, kill them that way. Our religious tradition teaches us that we must do more than just come to services. To be a Jew involves more than just bringing yourself to a synagogue on Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, or for that matter, even Shabbat. It means more than following the rituals that we have been taught for generations. We have to live a decent life. A few weeks ago in our Torah reading, we read the word tzedek, tzedek, tirdof. Tzedek, said twice, righteousness, justice, what is the right and proper thing to do? And we serve God best by the way we treat our fellow human beings. I used to begin every Yom Kippur evening service with a quotation from the first chapter of Isaiah. There's a similar passage in Amos, where God says to the people through Isaiah, I don't care about your sacrifices. People usually stop right there. But God also says, I don't care about your words of prayer either if you do not behave yourselves properly and care about our fellow human beings. Last March, there was a little vacation from school. It was at first extended for a week where everybody was unbelievably optimistic that this virus wouldn't be all that bad. What was my first response? Not, oh, how wonderful, there's another week of vacation. And for those of you who don't know, our youngest son is in high school. He's now going to be a senior. My first concern was those kids who rely on the school breakfasts and the school lunches for food, period. That's what they get to eat. We got in the mail yesterday or the day before the forms you fill out for free and reduced lunches. What they charge for the school lunches in a way is less than what you and I would pay for a cup of coffee in an ordinary place in town. For us, that's next to nothing. For some people, it's a fortune. There is no excuse for this, and I'm not saying no excuse in this country, no excuse in the world. We produce enough food. In fact, some people are paid not to grow food. The basics of what we need and in order to survive as human beings, in order even to think properly, to study Torah properly, we need to eat. In Kemach, in Torah, if you don't have food, you can't study Torah. There is a tradition in the Jewish world that can be summed up with social justice. We have cared about all of humanity. Tragically, there have been people throughout history who have not wanted our help. Today, in this country, there are those who do and those who don't. But if I can give a world example right now, you heard about that horrendous explosion in Lebanon. Israel offered medical help, hospital facilities, and so forth to the victims. It was turned down. We need to develop a sense of humanity that goes beyond borders. We need to recognize that we live in a larger world. Now, I think everyone knows with the coronavirus, 
It can be spread from one country to another. I think we've concluded that one. Let us not just focus on how many people are ill in this country. It's the whole world. And fighting the virus, I don't think patriotism is the word. There's more a sense of universal humanity and concern that is the world. You can't have perfect health in one country while the rest of the world is suffering. You can't, for example, offer medical care to those people who are fortunate enough by accident of birth to be United States citizens and withhold it from those who aren't citizens or whose citizenship is in question. We all pass on diseases to each other. And how many people, we're all guilty of it on one level or another, have shown up for work or gone somewhere where we know we really shouldn't, but it's an important event, or worse, the person who has to go because he or she will lose the pay or worse, lose the job. I've learned not to be upset. Now, it's different today. I realize it's far, far more serious. But I learned not to be upset with the cashier who obviously had a serious cold. Maybe that poor soul couldn't afford to put that dreadful job at risk. I'm not supposed to talk about political parties, and I'm not supposed to talk about candidates. I'm not going to. I'm going to talk about preserving human life. It shouldn't be one group versus another. And we shouldn't have to be put in the situation that if we feel we need to get medical help, we wouldn't dare do it because we can't afford the bill. Full disclosure, we had to make a choice as to whether our son would go back to school on the 31st of this month at Sarasota High School, real-time or virtual-time distance learning. We decided against his going full-time. We did it for a multitude of reasons. First, we want him to be protected. Secondly, we don't want him to have to come home and be quarantined in our house. Going beyond that, we have a responsibility to this congregation, a congregation that isn't that young anymore. And we wouldn't dare bring him to anything because I know young and healthy people can get this and die from it, but any of us who have anything resembling any kind of pre-existing condition we're even at greater risk. We as Jews are under the obligation to protect life, to protect ourselves, we've got that obligation, but also the obligation to protect others. It is wrong of me if I go out and I am ill. I am spreading something, and I'm not just talking about the coronavirus, but now it's become very serious. Yes, we're all tired and we're all fed up and we're suffering from coronavirus fatigue. How many weeks is it now? I remember a dinner here at the beginning of March when Rabbi Azari was our guest speaker and we were sitting at a dinner table with our friends Rabbi and Mrs. Stiffman who were here for a visit and they were arguing back and forth, do we go right home, do we go and visit whomever? They went back home and they made the right decision. I have in my possession the last program that we had for a regular Shabbat service here. We've often forgotten what it was like. I was speaking to someone just earlier today about how different it is, however wonderful these broadcasts are. And we've certainly upgraded what we are doing, and I thank all those who are making it possible. And I thank my wife and my son for making possible what we did at our house. But it's not the real thing, but it's better than nothing. 
And I want to say that I rejoice that we are able to do this and be together. My grandparents could never have imagined such a thing. And imagining things, I'm still amazed. We can talk to our relatives who are in Pennsylvania, for example. Not that many years ago, there was a young lady in our congregation in Maryland who was preparing for bat mitzvah. But over the summer vacation, they always went to London, England, where grandparents lived. And we did bat mitzvah lessons by Skype. Let us enjoy and celebrate what we have. Yes, we pause to mourn for our losses. We are especially pained by the lack of people who are ill, who have passed away, who are strong members of this congregation and other congregations. But those of us who are together on this Rosh Hashanah morning, we can work together to be safe, we can work together to make sure that everyone has something to eat. The dever, the pestilence, we wear our masks, we wash our hands, we keep our social distance, and we can give to whatever organization we want to give to, to keep people fed. The cherev part, the war part, I don't know to what extent we have that power. Now I would like to conclude this part of my comment right here and add one extra thing. I want to correct an error that was said by someone in the past, I think, day. Whatever you feel about the fact that the United States Embassy in Israel is in Jerusalem, or is in part of Jerusalem. <coughs> when and how did Jerusalem become the capital of Israel? Initially, King David did it. In more recent times, on the 11th day of December, 1949, the government of Israel decided that Jerusalem was its capital. To be sure, it was only West Jerusalem at the time. No one in the past few years made Jerusalem the capital. Maybe recognized it, but didn't make it. It's not just the school teacher in me that is trying to say this. It's trying to talk about accuracy. We need to be accurate in our understanding of history. We need to be accurate in our understanding of civics. Read the Constitution, read the Declaration of Independence. Parts will shock you. We need to be accurate in dealing with the devil, the pestilence. Let us accept that in this modern world, we have a division of labor. And I turn to the scientists and the doctors for the right answers when it comes to pestilence. May we be given that strength and the courage to make our Torah a Torah of life that keeps people alive and feeds them and strengthens them. And may God give us the strength and the courage to keep on doing that. And let us all say amen. At this point, I want to call upon Stuart Sinai, our president, who has some thoughts that he wants to share with us, and then we will conclude the service. Thank you, Stuart. Thank you, Rabbi. As Carol and I sit here tonight. This morning. This morning, I mean. I, I make that mistake, too. I mistake that all the time. What a magnificent service this is. I couldn't imagine when we began planning that this would be so beautiful. Of course, it misses all of you. I hope that you're watching. 
but it's beautiful being here and I hope you're enjoying the beauty. As Carol was saying, if this music doesn't get to you, nothing does. On behalf of the executive officers and board of trustees, we want to welcome you to our highly unusual virtual services. Rabbi, thank you very much for leading us on our spiritual journey and for your intellectual views and the interpretations of our traditional scripture. Thank you, Cantor Marinoff, Dr. Ann Mo and choir for the magnificent music, outstanding, and song which lends its beauty, peace, and joy to our holiday services. Long before this pandemic began, I began to asking questions. In fact, I was intrigued, I had been for a long time, about why we come together in such numbers for the high holidays. That's my theme, my topic for this morning. Notwithstanding, we, we are all here together virtually. Please stick with me for a few minutes as I discuss this. For many of us, belonging and being Jewish is a matter of belonging to a community. As part of belonging to the community, it seems clear there is a reflective, intuitive, subconscious need to come together, especially during our high holidays. Here at TBI, our Jewish Community Center, we are a cosmopolitan blend with many backgrounds, reform, conservative, and orthodox. Many, in fact, refer to themselves as secularists, reconstructionists, humanistic, agnostic, or call themselves merely irreligious. Some even identify as atheist. Our religious observances vary greatly. So, what brings this diverse group together on the high holidays? It's clear that whatever style we believe in or have doubts about or do not believe in at all, we still have an enduring Jewish identity. Maybe it's religious, maybe tribal, communal, or something in our DNA. We have a shared history, shared culture, notwithstanding sometimes a shared tragic history. We have shared ethics and moral precepts, a moral and ethical compass, intellectual and educational goals and expectations for ourselves, our children, and our grandchildren. Without a doubt, we need a place to congregate, especially during our high holidays. A place like TBI, where we are all welcome, where we all fit in, where we have shared feelings of belonging to something important that is preserving our Jewish community, our Jewish continuity. Here we console ourselves and one another as we come together to remember parents, grandparents, spouses who have passed on, even children who left us too soon, and other loved ones whose memories are dear to us. We need TBI to be here for us, and TBI needs you for it to continue to be here for years to come. Carol and I wish you a safe, healthy, meaningful new year, and on Yom Kippur, an easy fast. Lashana Toba Tika Tebu. Thank you. Thank you, Stuart. Thank you. Let us turn now to the concluding part of our service. It would be page 286 in the prayer book. Please rise for Alenu, and we will open the ark and
Please be seated. We pause for a moment to think of those who are no longer with us. We say this with increased intensity during these difficult times. Who among us has not lost someone, a friend, a relative, a colleague? May their memories live on and may our lives live up to the standards that they set for us. In honor of those who are no longer with us, let us turn to page 292 as we rise for the Kaddish. Yit Gadal, Yit Kaddash, Shamei Rabbah, Ve'al Ma'yit Gadal, Ve'al Ma'yit Gadal, Ve'al Ma'yit Gadal, Ve'al Ma'yit Gadal, Ufchaye de Kol Beit Yisrael, Bagala Ubisman Kari Vimru Amen. Yehe Shme Rabba Mevarach, Leolam Ulame Amaya, Yit Barach, Vayishtabach, Vayit Paar, Vit Romam, Vit Nase, Vit Adar, Vit Ale, Vit Alal, Shme de Kucha, Brihu, Leela Miko Berkata, Vishirata, Tush bechata v'nechemata, damiran v'alma v'imru, amen. Yehe shlama rabba mitshamaya, v'chayim aleinu v'alcho Yisrael v'imru, amen. O se shalom b'imromav, hu ya'ase shalom aleinu v'alcho Yisrael v'imru, amen. May the source of peace grant peace unto those who mourn and comfort the breathed among us and let us all say amen. amen. Let us remain standing for Ein Kelohenu, page 299. <laughs> blessed with a good year, a happy year, a sweet year. And now at the beginning of a new year, we pray for blessing the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of insight and courage, the spirit of knowledge and reverence. May we overcome trouble, pain, and sorrow. Amen. May our days and years increase. Yehiratzon milfanecha Adonai Eloheinu verohe avotenu shetekadeshalenu shana tova Umituka, a good and sweet year. Good Yantuf and good Shabbos. Yeah.